it'll be interesting to see how they handle it today. Miles Campbell with the return, taking the ball from the six-yard line. Spin move for Campbell as he comes to the near side. And Campbell all the way up to the 47-yard line, a close to 40-yard return. Well, the quarterback is number four, Shy Wirtz, a 5'11", 190-pound redshirt freshman out of Clinton, South Carolina. And Newberry High School takes the opening snap. Going to throw it on the opening snap to Miles Campbell, who just had the big kick, uh, kick return. And Campbell picks up about five yards on that opening pass. And Coach Summers let, says, no, we don't know much. Play almost. They want to get the ball out on the edge on the perimeter. Wirtz is running the option, has Campbell blocking for him. And Wirtz gets to the 44-yard line. About integrity trying to stop this spread option offense. Third down and a short two from the 44-yard line. Works, hands off to Fields, and Fields has the first down and more all the way down to the 34-yard line. Against a whole different animal today, you should be able to get some success in running the ball, uh, whether it's second and long or third and short. Ramsby gets the carry, and Ram... Uh, to not get too antsy and decide, well, I'm swimming to this gap and lose the integrity uh, once you start losing some of those battles up front. Wirtz on the keeper driving his feet inside the 25 and down to the 24. So the Eagles able to run the ball effectively here on this opening possession. Of course, they have uh, 10 defenses in the country dealing with Auburn. So uh, they're kind of licking their chops today to get at New Hampshire. First and 10 from the 25. Wirtz running option. Now going to stop and throw. Now going to run. And Wirtz gets out of one tackle, but not the next one. Drop back at the 30-yard line. From and Myrie with the tackle behind the line of scrimmage, and now second down and 15. Wirtz tosses the field's ball on the ground. It's recovered by New Hampshire at the 29-yard line. Bad pitch by Wirtz. Behind the running back and brought once the running back gets parallel to you, you have to just take the ball. But the defensive line right there staring in their hole. That's what we're going to talk about all day. So our first chance to see the Wildcats on offense as they take over the 30. They're down a man today. Malik Love did not make the trip with a hamstring injury. So that's a big setback for the Wildcats today. And they try to run the ball off tackle. And Evan Gray is dropped for a loss of a couple of yards. And there's also a flag down on the field. Holding is going to be the call against New Hampshire. Trevor Knight, Georgia Southern. Having to replace three multiple-year starters on the offensive line this year. McInerney at right tackle and Heron at left tackle. The only returning starters out of the five up front. Pass downfield. Caught at the 40-yard line and down to the 46. Goes Neil O'Connor, their star. As uh, Coach said, uh, he's not flashy. He just gets the job done, and that's his kind of lunch pail. Usually when you say lunch pail, you're talking about your O&D line, but he's a lunch pail type receiver. Passes batted down at the line of scrimmage as the Georgia Southern defensive line got penetration, and I thought all things considered. Auburn, Auburn as the game kept going, um, wore him down in the second half, but that first half, uh, they were kind of bend but don't break, made them kick a lot of field goals. Second down and 10. Carey's going to go to Goodrich, and Goodrich still on his feet. Picks up the first down at the 42. Donald Goodrich, who had only two kicks. Linebackers overreaching and uh, 10 yards right there. Uh, running back by committee or panel, in a sense, for this New Hampshire offense. Now a pistol formation here as they fake the handoff to Gray. And Knight's going to run to the 40-yard line and get dropped right across the 40-yard line. Needed to get more consistent play out of Logan Hunt this week. Second down right up the middle. Evan Gray crashes down to the 32-yard line. Uh, their big runs have come right up the middle of the defense. Handoff goes to Gray and great penetration. That This defensive line has the size and the athleticism to do that. Brings up second down and 10 with the ball at the 32. Knight with a pocket to throw out of. Fires this way, looking for O'Connor at the 11-yard line. Sails out of bounds. To settle in Georgia Southern uh, across the defensive front, being young is, is going to be great today. 
Out on the edge to O'Connor, and O'Connor is going to die for the sticks and be sure who's led him to the FCF playoffs 13 consecutive years. Said O'Donnell's typical UNH player, not flashy, just gets the job done. Heavy rush, Knight being chased, going to throw on the run and off the hands of his receiver at the 12-yard line. That was Justin Malone Woods, the fumble. Gallagher in motion. They swing it back here to O'Connor, coming back the other way on the end around, and O'Connor down to the 17-yard line before being tackled by Tamarcio Reese, the Sam linebacker. A little early trickery. Seen one early here on this opening possession. Now it's third down. And a timeout has been called by New Hampshire. Seven. Third down and six for New Hampshire from the Georgia Southern 17. Gray gets the carry. Second effort picks up. First and 10 from just outside the 10-yard line. Gray going to get it again. No play action. Pass thrown complete to O'Connor for the touchdown. They're big on play action. They get a lot of big plays. Their first touchdown of the day comes on play action on the catch by O'Connor. Nice play execution here by Trevor Knight and Neil O'Connor. Got the run game going. Just a simple run fake, quick throw. Perfect placement right there for O'Connor just to run under the ball. Uh, nice executed drive by New Hampshire. Now be careful. They'll trick you out of this muddle huddle, and O'Connor will throw for a two-point conversion here. Looks like that's what they're going to do here. Knight throws for two, and Georgia Southern never reacts to it, and Justin Malone Woods makes the catch for a two-point conversion. So twice on this uh, right there on that two-point conversion. Ramsby retreats and has the ball hit at the goal line. Now he's going to take it from the goal line. Ramsby trying to come to the near side. And Ramsby going to be dropped at the fork backs last week after they gave up a big return on the first uh, kickoff. Uh, they get great coverage here on the second one. So the Eagles are starting from their 14-yard line. Wirtz comes to the near side, going to keep it. Looks like he tripped over his own man. Look. He would have picked up another three to four yards. As it was, he picked up five. So second down and five for Wirtz in this Eagles offense from the 19. Fields goes in motion. Handoff goes to Ramsby. And Ramsby. Third down, Wirtz running to his right, being chased, throwing on the run, throws it away. There's a flag down at the 21-yard line. It's probably going against the Eagles, which means this will probably be a punting situation coming up for Georgia Southern. And it seemed from the beginning that maybe Wirtz and OB Fortune were not on the same page right there. Wirtz looked like he was waiting on a receiver to come open to throw the ball. Uh, the receiver was going downfield, so he did the best he could with, was getting out of the pocket and throwing it away. Marshall Lewis is our referee today. You see the call is holding against Georgia Southern. It will be declined, so the Eagles are going to Or putting you behind on your first downs. Matt Flynn punted 11 times a week ago against Auburn. This is a short kick that Horn comes up to take on the run at the 44-yard line and a nice open field tap. Well, the one thing they have is stability at the head coaching spot, being here uh, for the, since 1999 is McDonald, and, and when you can have that kind of stability, you can build a program. Knight wants to throw. He's got O'Connor wide open at the 39-yard line. Busted coverage. O'Connor a big gainer deep into Eagles territory. Taking advantage of them uh, once again, making a big play. That's his fourth catch already in this ball game, and with that catch, he goes over 1,000 yards receiving for his career. Evan Gray on the carry. Gets knocked side. Uh, so far, Good offense here by New Hampshire. Second down, handoff goes to Gray. Gray battles, breaks out of a tackle inside the 20 and down to the 18. Handoff goes to Goodrich, tries to weave his way through the traffic jam and gets down to the second down for the Wildcats. Knight wants to throw, throws on a crossing pattern. That's a first down. O'Connor. Antsy up and O'Donnell and, and, and Trevor Knight are definitely on the same page. O'Connor, CAA, that's the Colonial Athletic Association preseason all-conference, third team at the end of last season. Knight going to run it, and Knight down to the two-yard line. Joshua Mo McDonnell says that Knight here in his second year as the starting quarterback has a great understanding of what they need to do to win a ball game. 
Handoff, Gray, Gray battles into the end zone for the touchdown. And the wild Max Pedinoff lines up for the PAT. And he puts it through. And with 24 hours, Elman will kick off. And this kick will be taken by Campbell at the two-yard line. And Campbell comes to the near side again. And Campbell gets tripped up this time. Nice open field tackle. Ashton 10 from the Eagles from the 20. Wirtz going to take the shotgun snap. Hands off to Godfrey. First carry of the afternoon for Demarcus Godfrey. He does have no place to run. Uh, with this game being moved here to Birmingham, is Georgia Sutton. Wirtz going to fire to the outside. Incomplete. Malik Henry was the intended target. To what they like to do, third and short. Right now, they're creating too many third and longs. Third down and six from the 24. Wirtz going to run option here to the near side, and he picks up the first down at the 31 yard. Second quarter before they have to punt. Yeah, exactly. They didn't need to give up field position again if they had to punt deep in this own end. Wirtz comes to the near side again. This time he's going to go down shy of the 30-yard line at the 29. Wirtz talked with us about this week about having 10 guys on the same page and one guy doing something else. And, of course, you can't play football like that. That one guy will screw it up. Handoff goes up the middle, and Ramsby nearly broke it up to the 35-yard line. Actually, that was Fields on the carry as Fields gets it across. The Eagles 2 of 3 on their third down conversions in the first. Wirtz rolling to the near side, throwing on the run. Malik Henry makes the catch at the 44. Was he juggling the ball, or did he catch it? All the time, keeping those toes in bounds was number 87, Malik Henry. First catch of the season for Henry. Fresh set of downs for the Eagles. Wirtz going to run it right up the middle and not get very far. Prince Smith Jr. making the tackle. The Option run here for Wirtz. Going to keep it. Not get very far. Was run down from behind. Third down and six for the Eagles. Approaching the 50-yard line. Down two scores already. And a timeout's going to be called by Georgia Southern. Minute and a half of the second quarter. New Hampshire leading 15 to nothing. Wirtz going to fire a pass. Complete out here to Henry. And Henry is going to pick up the first down. Second time they've been able to go to Henry out there on the perimeter and pick up a first down. Get it to my big target on the edge. What this offense already is trying to do, establish the edge in the passing game. And Henry right here knows he has to just go get these yards. No faking, just get enough field to convert that third down. Back to live action, and L.A. Ramsby on the carry down to the 39 as he picked up about six on the play. And the one thing that New Hampshire is doing a great job of is first and second down. They're making Georgia Southern have to convert these third and six, third and seven uh, to keep the drive going. Handoff goes to Fields this time, and Wesley Fields dives for the first down at the 33-yard line. Great second effort after he'd been hit by Jaywan Horton, and Fields moves the sticks for the Georgia Southern Eagles. That'll be their sixth first down of the game. And you can see the tempo. The tempo is going. They're getting this tempo to this offense moving. Fields, no running room this time. And that was big number 71, Ryan Sosnick, the defensive tackle that blew up that 56 yards rushing now for the Eagles in this ballgame. It's Alexander, the H-back in motion, going to run out there and block for Wirtz on the edge, and Wirtz gets the first down and more. Tight roping the sideline. Let's see where they're going to say he stepped out. Back at the, the 22-yard line for the Eagles, as Wayne mentioned, they're starting to get their offense in sync here. Going to toss the ball to Miles Campbell. Campbell slips out of one tackle, jukes and gets down to the 14-yard line, but there is a flag down on the play. Down. A great effort by him on that play. Personal foul. Blocked below the waist. That'll be against Georgia Southern as the call comes from Marshall Lewis, our referee. Now from the 32-yard line, Curtis Rainey, the center, going to snap it back to Wirtz. Wirtz rolling to the near side. And going to run out of real estate. Gets knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Second down and 18 now. Fields lines up next to Wirtz in the backfield. 
Time in the pocket for Wirtz. Fires downfield. Got a man open. Overthrew him at the five-yard line. Malik Henry was open, but Wirtz could not connect. Three for seven now for 22 yards in this game. Wirtz rolls to the left this time. Keeps it. And got stopped at the 25-yard line. Three-yard kick for Tyler Bass, who missed a 44-yarder last week against Auburn. Snap back. Flynn the holder. Ball on its way. And that kick is going to be no good. As Tyler Bass misses from 43 yards. And Georgia Southern remains scoreless here in Birmingham. New Hampshire going back on off. First and 10 Wildcats as New Hampshire goes back on offense from their 26-yard line after the 43-yard field goal miss for Georgia Southern. Knight going to dump it off to O'Connor. O'Connor continues to do damage. Moon rides his ability to hang in the pocket, play with settled feet, not take off and run. Goodrich going to run it right there, and Goodrich gets stood up at the line of scrimmage. No running so far. Knight hangs in there. Now going to take off and run and gets dropped. Logan Hunt with the penetration drop. New Hampshire two for two on third down conversion so far in this game. Heavy pressure coming and the ball is going to be incomplete. And a punting situation for the first time for New Hampshire today. Sharing the place kicking and punting duties. Pednoff standing at the 20 yard line to kick with Campbell back at the 30. Heavy rush and Pednoff booms it out of there. Campbell's going to take it at the 31 yard line. Dances and picks up nine yards on the return. In this game, as his game wears on. Blocking the back on Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern breakdown, 73 rushing and 22 passing. Can they find that rhythm again? They start getting some tempo in that last set of drives. Ramsby runs it right into the teeth of the deep. <laughs> Not getting them back. <laughs> Second down now. Works with the play clock running down, bounces out of his hands, and he's going to take a loss back at the 21-yard line. What penalties and uh, miss assignments. Third and 16 now. Wirtz wants to throw. Now going to be flushed out of the pocket. Wirtz right up the middle, gets run down at the 35-yard line. Going to be Wildcats DC. John Lyons told us you got to fit your gaps and hold up on the perimeter in order to be successful against this Georgia Southern offense. They've done that so far today. Flynn, end over end kick. Horn calls fair catch, makes it at the 26-yard line, and that's where the Wildcats will go back on offense with five minutes and 12 seconds to. Uh, and coming here, what they call the neutral site. Never seemed like it really was that <laughs> neutral if you're an Auburn Tiger. You were pretty much stuck in neutral when you came here and played <laughs> Alabama. Knight throws. That's complete to Donovan at the 30-yard line as they pick up four on that play. First time they've thrown the ball to Rory Donovan. Decisions as you watch him play. He's not trying to run the ball like he was last week, moving around the pocket and finding people down the field to throw to. Let's see if he caught Georgia Southern offside there. That's why he took a knee directly on that snap. Yep, and it is a five-yard markoff, so that'll put the ball at the 35 and bring up a second down and one. And that'll get a defensive coordinator great hair right there. It never happened for an interior lineman. So second down and one, ball at the 35-yard line. Handoff goes to Gray, gaping hole. Gray across the 50, the 40, cut back, and finally brought to the ground by Baldry at the knee. So first and 10, the Wildcats replacing one of their top running backs from a year ago, Dalton Crossing, 
who had 1,977 all-purpose yards a year ago. But Coach McDonald confident the Perry's got here this year can get the job done. Throws to the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown. What a catch. And it's that guy again, Neil O'Connor, <laughs> with his seventh catch of the ball game and his second touchdown. Neil O'Connor. The lunch pail, I'll play any position at any time and do anything you need type player. And what defensive a, holding against Georgia Southern. The touchdown will stand. Right here, over the shoulder, dropping it in. It's Trevor Knight, and what concentration catching the ball right here. Some receivers, they see the penalty flag, and they kind of give up right there just finishing the play. Elman's on to try this PAT after Pedinoff put the last one through. Okay. All right, then let's go out there and finish. And it's 22 to nothing. The advantage was their defensive front, that they would be able to be stout. But New Hampshire, even though Trevor Knight and Will O'Connor is dominating, the offensive line is pushing Georgia Southern around. Ransby takes the kick at the 14-yard line, and Ramsey gets tackled by Ellison, 38. First and 10, Wirtz remains in there at quarterback. Richardson, the H-back, lines up in front of him off to the right. Handoff. Garrett with his first carry. Monteo Garrett, his first carry as a Georgia. And get up on the scoreboard to make them have to feel the pressure of throwing. Wirtz runs option, tosses to Garrett. Garrett has the first down, gets knocked out of bounds at the 50-yard line. So Garrett gets his first two carries as a Georgia Southern Eagle and moves the sticks. Garrett getting up field, making that first down. First two carries of this season for the fourth-year junior out of Munford High School in Talladega, Alabama. Words heavy rush, going to take a sack back at the 40-yard line as Rick Holt gets to him as second. Would be over the big guard right there, Jeremiah Colbert. Yeah, went right by their most veteran and experienced right guard, making his 23rd start here today. Wirtz slings it out there to Mashad, and Mashad across the 40 to the 47-yard line. The ball was out. In for Georgia Southern. Handoff goes to field. He will not pick up the first down as he gets stopped at the 42 with two minutes to play in the half. Do you? I would go for a nice call here. Uh, by Tyson Summer. Going for it on fourth and three, and Fields tries to get to the outside, and Fields going to be close to the first down as he gets tackled at the 39. Vince. Vince Smith Jr. in on that tackle, first down. Now Campbell goes in motion. Handoff goes to Ramsby, and Ramsby down and six. Works fires to the near side, overshoots his man. And that's why you see him throwing a lot of high balls on his release. Third down and six from the 35. Works fires low, broken up. Where Shy Works has to make a big play in conversion. Fourth down and six. Works time batted down at the line of scrimmage. That was Sosnack. The defensive tackle got his hand on it and swatted it down as it was going through the passing lane. And that's what you want to do against a 5'11 quarterback. You want to push the pocket and anticipate when he's going to release the ball. Been out there on the edge, and you see why it's hard for him to pass over the top of the line of the scrimmage. He gets batted down like it did right there. Victory formation here to end this first half as Knight will take a knee. And the Wildcats are content to take a 22-0 lead to the locker room. Both sides of the ball. Great day for them. New Hampshire has put it to Georgia Southern here. As we start the third quarter, the opening kickoff was a touchback. So the Wildcats will start at their own 25-yard line. O'Connor goes in motion behind the line. He's been deadly all day. They run a tunnel screen to him. This time, they read it well. Second down and 15. Keeper by Knight. Haven't seen much of that today. De La Rosa makes the tackle. Difference in this game. 
O'Connor, eight catches for 101 today. Knight going to step up and run. Makes a man miss, picks up the first down. Gets more than that. Out to the 40, across the 50. Knight still on his feet and steps out of bounds at the 30. His improvisation as well because he can make things happen just like that. Gray on the carry. And nothing doing for Evan Gray as he picks up just about one yard on the play. Break down. Yeah, you don't want to stifle him where he forgets that he can make those type of big plays. Second down, handoff goes to Gray again. Big hole for Gray, off tackle, and a first down for Gray as Joshua Moon, or actually Baldry, makes the stop on the straight board right now. Here's another look at his injury at the end of the play and his tackle on Evan Gray. And the thing about that, uh, for you have never been in this position, you're catching uh, Evan Gray all his weight. You're trying to get low. You know, you know if you're Bowdry, how big and strong of a runner he is. So you're trying to get him in the leg area to bring him draw energy, uh, especially if you're Georgia Southern, you're down three scores. You've got to get something going here to get back into this game. Second down and 18. Knight with time. Drag route across the middle. Catch is made. And out of ball and get some rhythm to your receiving core. Well, look at this lineup. Three men lined up on the offensive line. They throw it out there to O'Connor. And O'Connor, another trick play here. Fouls Campbell will run on the field for Georgia Southern to field it. And I think this is a great call by Sean McDonald. Uh, Georgia Southern's offense hasn't done anything for you to need to give them a short field. And did the play clock run out? It is a delay of game. Punted twice last week in their victory over Maine for 27 yards. Kicks it inside the 10 and into the end zone. It's caught on the fly. Nice coverage on the play, actually. But the ball will come out on the fence. Still trying to get something going here. They've been shut out. In fact, the offense for the Eagles is yet to score a touchdown this season as Fields takes that pitch. And Ellison, who's been there leading... Wirtz pitches to Ramsby to the short side. Not a whole lot of run today. They've been good at that. They just haven't been able to sustain drives and make points. Wirtz rolling this way, going to run it. And Wirtz is not going to pick up the first down. Hey, Georgia Southern has not been able to do that today on offense. Flynn will kick. Wobbly kick. Horn comes up to field it at the 43-yard line. Evan Horn across midfield. Gutsy play by because they trust his decision making there he took the risk he felt the risk was worth it and it gets some positive yards to the 48 now Knight rolling to his right throwing downfield and nearly intercepted by Monquavian Brinson Wow, I didn't see that on the potential targeting call. We'll see if we can catch it on the replay. Sprint out here by Trevor Knight, trying to find something to come in and focus the throw to, taking the risk that he could get it in the gap. Brinson comes out of nowhere. Oh, there it is. Just drops the interception. And there was the targeting call against R.J. Murray, the safety. Watch him, the impact with the wide receiver at the end of the play right there. That's the targeting call. That's where they dropped the flag on the receiver, Nick Lorden. Yeah, I don't think I don't, that's I don't think that's going to be targeting. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't get his helmet in there. It seems like he just hit him in the shoulder, in the in the side. He didn't leave his feet, as you can see in the replay. Which is part of the targeting call, but he did not launch and use his helmet or the crown of his helmet as a weapon here. But you did mention that he did leave his feet, which is also part of the targeting call right there. That's. A great job by the officials. That's what I love about the college football replay rule. They're pretty afield right now. Nothing doing. Goodrich gets smothered at the line of scrimmage. This is what you work on those first two downs for to create third and long. Knight has a pocket, throws, and trying to get the ball to O'Connor for one of the rare times today. They don't get this time for the Wildcats. 
I thought it was interesting. We talked to Coach McDonald about that. Was Coach, how do you decide who's going to kick here? He goes, I look into their eyes. <laughs> so Pedinoff had the right look this time. That's really more on the field goal kicking. Great job by Pedinoff to drop it dead inside the 10-yard line. It kicks out of bounds. All about success at FCS, but now they're FBS, and they're struggling here today. Wirtz, nice juke move, picks up the first down and more, and Shy Wirtz dances out. Hand off Ramsby, and Ramsby gets stuck. Wirtz runs option to this side. Pitch goes to Garrett. Garrett across the 30, first down for Garrett. Miller in on his second consecutive tackle, but that's a first. Wirtz wants to throw, fires to the outside. That is complete to Miles Campbell. Spins out of one tackle, then tackled by the defensive end. Campbell, but you would like to see this offense get a little more in and out. The play's got to come in and out. Uh, the clock starts becoming an enemy when you're going this slow. Wirtz picks up the first down. And a flag out, though, late. Probably a hold against the Eagles. Their offense in rhythm, it's really good. But when you're a team that... You see the hold. 21, that's Wesley Fields, the running back. When you're an offense, leaves you a lot of opportunity to screw things up when you have to run 14, 15 plays to get a touchdown. Yeah, it's a lot of moving parts in this. You have to follow the ball, and sometimes the big play happens, but for the most part, it is a built to go on three and four yards at a time. Wirtz comes to the near side. Wirtz down the sideline. And Shy Wirtz finally starting to get... It. Richardson on the end making big blocks. Wesley Fields, just a couple of yards on the play. Wirtz is their leading rusher today, 19 carries. Ball at the 43. Wirtz running option to the near side, going to keep and cut back. And Wirtz down to the 38-yard line. It's to Southern to get back in this ballgame. Handoff, Fields, first down for Fields. As Fields, uh, New Hampshire back off the ball. Wirtz goes option to the other side this time, and Wirtz down to the 25-yard line. Ellison making the tackle. During the second half, a great job of knowing when to pitch and when to keep the ball. And this offense still needs to speed up just a little more to get down the field. Whip to the outside. Ball is caught. And by the defensive end, great focus there by Obi. Fields picks up the first down. Complete this successful drive. Clock at three minutes to play here in the third quarter. Eagles looking for their first offensive touchdown of the season. Richardson in motion behind the line. Wirtz running option again, and he's going to take a loss. Back at the 25-yard line. Second down and 15 now. Low snap. Wirtz has to pick it up off the ground. In trouble out there, and he's going to take another big loss. Again, that was Ellison that was there, and Quinlan Dean. Third down in a big, long situation here for Georgia Southern. Wirtz going to run it up the middle and not get anywhere. DeAndre Drummond Myrie there to plug the gap, and it's going to be fourth down. What do you do here? You send the field goal unit on? It looks like that's what they're doing. Yeah, you need to. Uh, but you want to reward the offense and look up at the board and see something that we're doing positive. Kick. On its way, and the kick from Tyler Bass is good. 43-yard kick for Tyler Bass as the offense finally produces points. Almost half a quarter uh, to score a field goal. You've had success as a defense. Chapman will take the ball from the two-yard line. He fumbles it, picks it up, and he's going to be dropped inside the 10-yard line. Final minute of the third quarter. Wildcats back out there from their nine. Pass incomplete. Might have been tipped at the line of scrimmage by Ty Phillips. And the logo they have on the side of their helmet here today. Back to the old logo that they were sporting back in 1998. Quarterback sack inside. Pressure coming right up the middle. They pick it up. Thrown to the edge and incomplete on that. Long pass intended for Lorden, and it's fourth down. Pass is one being deflected. You're punting off the, the two-yard line. Sanborn stands at the back of the end zone to kick, and the play is blown dead. 
delay a game. This will make things just a little bit tighter quarters for New Hampshire. It's the foot line of the end zone. And the defense is just a step closer, right? Watch 24, Freeman off the edge. He's coming in there. They're just going to take a safety. How about that? Barry in. looks like he's going to take the free kick as a punt. And two are deep for the Eagles right now. That's Campbell and Ramsby. Campbell's going to take it from the 28. And we have whistles. Are they going to say that he called a fair catch? If he did, that's a huge mistake by Campbell. Did he? Four seconds left on the clock. Campbell intended to be calling a fair catch there, but that's what the officials thought he was doing. So first and ten on what is likely the final play of the third quarter. Wirtz going to fire off the play action, and the ball gets batted down at the line of scrimmage or at least about four or five yards beyond the line of scrimmage of the third quarter in all likelihood, unless we have another penalty. They run the pitch to Campbell coming around the round. And Campbell, Myrie going to grab him and throw him to the ground. You in Birmingham, 22-5, New Hampshire with the lead, but the Eagles have the ball. Pitch goes to Fields. Fields across the 50, and Fields down to the 46. Kenya making the... Like they uh, just trying to get the game over. Uh, first half, they were attacking, but Georgia Southern has set themselves up to try to get back in this game. 26-18 in minutes. Time of possession lead for Georgia Southern in this game. And Wirtz not paying you, pushing him down and making that tackle. Nice fourth, read. Fourth and one, they go for it. Fields got it with the second effort. Kane, you hit him in the this offense. So first and ten for the Eagles. Now in Wildcats territory. Wirtz has time to throw. Firing across the middle off the hands of Campbell at the 34-yard line. <laughs> Got to make those plays. Second down and ten. Wirtz going to run, and Wirtz picks up a first down. Kane being able to find a crease and pay, make this defense pay. Handoff goes to Fields, and nothing doing. Roberts is there. for. The and New Hampshire has taken that approach to make Wirtz run the ball, make him pull and make the play. Catch is made out there on the edge, and Mashad inside the 20-yard for the ball and winning the battle. Nice read here by Wirtz. Defender was actually in position, just back to the ball, and that's a nice grab right there uh, for this Georgia Southern offense. First and 10 from the 18. Fields gets the handoff. Kenya, the first guy to hit him, and then Keel. Actually, it was Jacob Bradshaw who finishes him off, 60. I think Kenya got there first, and then Bradshaw finished off the play. And you're banging his uh, right shoulder, leaving the game right there. But nice read by this defensive front. They have kept, for the most part, uh, this Georgia like Second down and long. Wirtz running option. Nothing doing that time. Quinlan Dean last week. They're facing third and long right here. Wirtz. Wants to fire, throws complete to Fortune, and Fortune's close to the first down as he... Players making those kind of effort play. So first and goal to go at the eight-yard line. Ball gets away from Wirtz. Fields picks it up, tries to get to the edge. Got a big block out there and a nice open field tackle, but the block's going to cost him as they drop the flag. Prince Smith Jr. makes the tackle. There was a big block. Apparently, it's going to be a block in the back or a block on a defenseless player which is a new call available to them as well this year. And we'll see what that call is, but that's going to cost them. So targeting is going to be the call here. Tough situation to put an uh, offensive player in. Uh, you, you, you see the man chasing the ball, about to make the tackle. Uh, receivers are taught to come back and make the block. He got his head in front. Um, didn't see his helmet go in there. Used his shoulder. Fields. Wow. Number nine is disqualified. 15 yard penalty will be enforced from the end of the line. Wow. Still first down. 
I'm shocked by that call because it appeared that Fortune blocked him with the shoulder and the arm. Paul? I'm very shocked yeah. by it. I, I think that uh, you have to give some credence to that the defender was going to make the tackle when the person comes to block yeah. him. Yeah, if he does not make that block, then he makes the tackle. So works back to pass. Heavy rush. Hit as he throws, and it's intercepted in the end zone by Isaiah Perkins. And Wirtz got leveled by Jaywan Horton. Just Well, Georgia Southern misses a great opportunity, and now the Wildcats go on offense at their 20-yard line here, and we'll see if they can milk some clock as Evan Gray gets the handoff and picks up three yards on the play. Rashad Bird making the tackle for the Eagles. Of time here on the play clock. Down to four on the play clock when they snap it right there. They go to the air, surprisingly enough. It's off the hand. Goodrich goes in motion. They run a screen side to the other side, and that's O'Connor with his 10th catch of the day. He's standing at his 13-yard line. Line drive kick. They try to kick it away from Campbell into the short side, and it goes kick out of bounds. Let's see where they end up spotting it as the official keeps walking down the sideline to find the spot, and he does at the 44. He played here in Birmingham instead of Statesboro. Because of Hurricane Irma, it's not been a good day for the Eagles as New Hampshire has dominated pretty much throughout. Works in trouble, scrambling around, coming to the near side, going to take a nice missile tackle right there. Oh, not a lot of run, uh, area to run in uh, for Works. Less than eight minutes now for the Eagles. Time is definitely now a major concern as the ball is caught out there by Mashad. Uh, just shoestring tackle right there by New Hampshire. Works, scrambling and throwing on the run, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Mm. You're running out of time. Yeah, they really have no choice. They have to go for it right here. Running option. Works going to cut back in the middle and pick up the first down and more. Turns on the Jets inside the 20 and down to the nine-yard line. They'll spot it at the seven, and you see the danger of shy works when he can get in the open field nice read nice play uh, cut back in the middle of the field seems like he really caught the, this new hampshire defense by surprise by cutting it back so far uh, and really able to show you how fast he is as a quarterback first and goal from the seven can the eagles finally punch it in and fields down to the five yard and they're down 17 points. Handoff, Ramsby, touchdown! First touchdown of the season for the Georgia Southern Eagles. Took them seven plus quarters to get it. But they finally get it here at Legion Field to cut the lead to 22-11. Finally following up a, a good play with positive plays right here in the middle of the defense. Been trying to get in there all day has these running backs and quarterback and works. And finally, they made some uh, big room in the middle to get some big plays. Flynn the hold and the PAT by break. Uh, but Georgia Southern, not just financially, but to the players uh, who uh, this is their last season, who looks forward to those home games. Now uh, won't be home until October. O'Connor on the return up to the 22 yard line. And we are playing at his. I was out there. There was a guy named John Copeland and Eric Curry. <laughs> Two top five picks in the draft coming at me. Well, you were a first-round pick yourself, so that was a great <laughs> battle. Uh, you played the, the first three years of uh, 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 as an Auburn Tiger. You played the Iron Bowl. Minutes. Five seconds, pardon me. It's down to four right here. And Knight flushed out of the pocket. Going to run to this side. He's got some running room across the 30 and 35. Stepping out of bounds at the 30. Right there. He's 12 of 21, 118 passing. Couple of touchdowns today. He's run now seven times for 49 yards. Not great numbers, but his team's winning. Comes to the near side. Steps out of bounds again at six. 
And the Eagles really need to get the ball back. The handoff goes to Gray. He gets slammed to the ground. Great penetration there by Ty Phillips. Southern has outrushed them, which they typically do. Passing-wise, they're almost even with them as well. Only a 25-yard difference in the passing game in favor of New Hampshire. Third down, Knight throws it's complete to O'Connor, and O'Connor is going to pick up the first down at the 50-yard line. I think has been the difference maker out of these two teams this afternoon. They've had no answer for him. Knight, the run, and he got it hard. Real misread here on this read option. Probably should have just handed the ball off, decided to keep it. Mm. Hello. Can you say hello to me? <laughs> Spring. In fact, Georgia Southern, Gallon didn't make it. Georgia Southern's got six players on opening day rosters in the National Football League. That's an all-time high for Georgia Southern as the flag comes out and a delay a game. Matt Breida, the great running back, made it with the 49ers, their kicker. Scouting them to see what they have down in Statesboro. Second down, handoff goes to Gray and nothing doing. I'm guessing the Eagles going to burn their last timeout right there. They're running out of bounds. You want something where uh, Trevor Knight probably is making a play with his feet and keep the clock rolling. Again, that three-man offensive line alignment, and it doesn't fool Georgia State. Or get on the board twice, excuse me. What the Eagles could really use here is a big play on special teams. I don't know that they're going to get the opportunity to do that. They got ten men on the line. And they send a bunch. Pedinoff gets it out of there. Campbell calls fair catch and makes it at the 21-yard line, almost interfered with on his catch. And that's where the Eagles will... And, and stay away from penalties. Yeah. Here's the big question. Does Georgia Southern have any kind of downfield passing game here? And we haven't seen it yet. We'll see if they do. Works scrambling to his right, throwing on the run, and... Nearly intercepted. Official said on that play, which was declined, so second down and 10. Heavy rush from the backside, and Wirtz going to take a quarterback sack at the nine yard line. Jaywan Horton with the sack, and that's going to drop him back inside the So third down and 19. Wirtz. Stands in the pocket, fires, and nearly intercepted by Horn again. A Hail Mary play coming up here for the Eagles. Rush is coming at Wirtz. He's flushed out of the pocket. He's scrambling around. Now he's going to have to take off and run. He's beyond the line of scrimmage. He's going to be tackled from behind at the 21-yard line. The pressure uh, on an offense that's not built for throwing um, to throw it off and, and make another 4th and 19 and Shy Wars just not can come up with it. Uh, it was great today. This will snap a seven-game losing streak for the Wildcats against FBS teams. This will be their first victory against an FBS team since they beat Army 28-10 in 2008. And it'll be their second-ever victory against Georgia Southern. They beat them in the 2004 playoffs. They've beaten them here in the 2017 regular season as no more plays will be run, and New Hampshire will walk out of here 22 to 12 winners. Head coach Sean McDonald has to be impressed with his team, uh, probably taking the main victory, which is a big rivalry for them, uh, you know, to heart, but truly loving this, going on the road, beating an FBS team like he did today. Well, Sean McDonald said when they beat him in 2004, that was the, the first time they'd been in the FCS playoffs. His kids really didn't even know where they were going to play. They just knew they were getting an opportunity to play a football game and called it one of the biggest wins in their program history. Certainly, this was a big one here today.